one. This is Elisa from Photo Box Designs. I want to show you this cute little bunny template. So easy to use. So when you open up the template, you'll see that there's a bunny. and He's got some shadows that you can um, choose to keep or reduce if you like. Change them around. But the bunny is totally movable. If you'd like to move him around, you can. You just have to press Control T and um, or Command Command T or Control T, and then you can move him if you like him in a different location. I'm gonna keep him where he is though. And then you have these three um, picture frames. And what you can do with these picture frames is use them either with clipping masks or without. So the frames are also completely movable and they can be reduced in size or changed around. So you can see here, they also have shadows already um, placed on them so that they look realistic against the wall. And you can choose to shut off the clipping mask and then take a photo, place embedded, and then go to find your photos, take a photo, place it in, size it up, and then make sure that it is behind the frame that you want it to be in, and it would work just like that. However, even easier, you can take that same photo and use it inside clipping masks. So I'm going to take the same photo, put it on top of the large frame clipping mask, right click, rest, uh, create clipping mask, and then there you go, voila, she's in. Let's do it again. I'm just clicking on the right, on the one you want to um, fill up, place embedded, find a photo that might be nice, such as maybe this the napkin right here, size it up by using the transformation tool, and right click, click clicking mask, and she's in, and then one more, place embedded, and another really nice picture that you might want to use, place embedded, Size it up, lay it on top, make sure it's on top of the clipping mask that you would like to clip it onto, and create clipping mask, and she's in. And there you go. You've got yourself a really cute template. All right, thanks for watching.